What's up guys, it's Kevin Wagstaff here. I'm gonna show you the basics of using Spectora today. If you're watching this, that means you've been hired by or working with one of our wonderful companies that use Spectora, some of the most tech forward and modern companies in the industry. So we're gonna go through the basics, show you how to use the mobile app, and then get you to the desktop to show you how to finish your inspection report and publish. All right, so at this point, you should have the Spectora app downloaded from the Apple or Google App Store and have logged in with your email address that your company admin or your boss provided you. If you don't have a login yet and haven't logged into the mobile app, check with your company, or you can just create a free trial account and log in to where you can get to this home screen that you're seeing right here. So for most of you, once you have a job scheduled for you, you'll open up the Spectora app and see the screen right here with the inspection for the day. So as you'll see, this is scheduled for 3 p.m. for you. So what you wanna do is tap into that inspection and now we're looking at the details of the inspection. Most of this you don't have to worry about if your company puts in notes, like you'll see right here, the crawl space, eight number of AC units, you'll get some detail on the property by seeing those notes there. Otherwise, you just wanna tap on the blue button at the top here called residential report, and this takes you into the inspection. Your company will already have a template set up for you to where you can tap into the sections, items, and then down to the comment level. Informational comments are in green. And in this case here, we have a couple multiple choice comments where you can just check these off. And you'll notice you're getting the little green check mark as you mark each comment off. So once you're done with each item, you click back and you can see you get the green check mark there. That tells you you're done with that section and item. So if you hit back up to the top, you see here on the section view that inspection details is complete. All right, so now let's show you how to document an informational comment with photos as well as a defect. So we're gonna click into roof and into roof coverings. So within roof coverings, I am going to look at the material here. We're gonna say tile. And if you want to take a picture of an informational comment, you just tap on the bottom left button here labeled photo. And that takes you into your camera and you can snap the camera up button here just to take a picture. And now that photo is stored within the informational comment of material. So you're still in the roof coverings item. So at the top here, I'm tapping the D button to say this is deficient, that there's something wrong. So if you scroll down, you'll see the list of deficiencies that your company has in your template, and you'll select one of those. So let's select damage general. And the first box on the top left here is the severity. So your company will dictate the severity levels that you guys have within your template. And so you can choose there. Some of these might be selected by default for you. So you may not even need to touch this section. So the process for taking a photo within this comment is the same. So we're gonna tap on the bottom left photo button and we're gonna take a photo. We can take multiple photos. And then I click the check mark to be done. It is a setting in your mobile app to be able to annotate these photos right away. So right after you take the photos and click OK, this will launch the photo annotator where I am just dragging my finger across the photo right here to create arrows to point to the defect. And once you have pictures within a comment, you'll see at the top right of that comment right here, the number two, which tells you how many photos are within that defect. If you want to take a video of any given defect, you'll see here, I'm gonna click on delamination and it is this button right here that's highlighted, the video. What that'll do, it'll launch your video as if you're just taking a video with your phone. If you took a bunch of photos on your phone's camera, so if you just went down to your phone's camera like this and took a bunch of pictures, that is what this is for right here, these two gallery buttons on the bottom right of this block of eight buttons. So if you just click on gallery, this will open up your phone's photo gallery and you can select pictures from there. So you can just select a couple of those, and then you're done. If you wanna annotate any of those photos that you just added, you simply tap into this comment by clicking the arrow. That brings you into the comment and then you tap on any of these photos and now you can drag your finger and then click the check mark to be done. If you wanna edit the text in any comment, so again, you tap into the comment by clicking the arrow button and then you scroll down to this box and just tap your finger within here and you can change the comment text associated with this defect. There's two other things within this view that I wanna show you. So if the first is the flag button. So I'm just tapping the flag button on and off here. As you can see, this does not show to the client. So this is only flagging this as something for you to check later or for your boss to check later when you're reviewing the report or they're viewing the report. So use that if it's something you're unsure of, you can always uncheck this when I show you on desktop here in a minute when we're reviewing the report. 
So the location button allows you to designate the location of the defect. So if you just tap on that, you can use these buttons that are pre-populated in here for quick reference, or you can just tap into that field and free form type the location there. If your company has used the mobile reminders, if you tap into a section and you see view reminder here at the top, simply tap on that and it'll give you a couple reminders that your company or your boss wants you to not forget. Some basic functionality that you need to be aware of if a section or an item just doesn't apply or it's not present and you wanna delete it from that report, you just swipe left right here. I just swiped left on cooling and it shows you the duplicate or delete function. So you can always just do that to get rid of any section or item. It just gets rid of it for that report. Another option that's turned on by default that you can always turn off is the CYA camera. So if you want to take pictures that you don't need to be in the report, at the very bottom right here, you'll see a little camera icon. So if you tap on that, that allows you to take pictures that don't show up in the report, but they just are in the backup folder on your phone for reference later. So what if you run into something that's not in your template that your boss or your company doesn't have in there? How do you add it? So if it's a big section, you click on the plus section button down here, and this allows you to add any optional sections or any new sections. If you see blank section down here at the bottom, it allows you to create a new one. So I'm gonna put a new section here, and there's a new section at the bottom. And this applies to the item level as well. So if I go to the bottom of electrical, I can just add any new item there. And if you go into any given item in the list of defects, if you don't see what you're trying to call out, you can click on new deficiency, and this allows you to add any new defect that's not ready for you in the template. So I'll go through this and just type in new defect, and you can describe the defect here. So new defect. And then you can save that comment and you can take pictures. So once you save the comment, you'll see those photo buttons just like before and you can start documenting that new defect. At any point you get stuck and you're not sure where something is, at the top right here, you see this magnifying glass. This launches the search feature. So you can search in any given section or item or throughout your whole template or report. So you click on the globe icon and this searches everything. So if you know you just found a crack, you just type in crack and it'll show you all the defects that have the word crack in it. So be sure to use the search function and then when you're done, make sure to click cancel and then the back button and that takes you out of the search interface and back to your report. So just know that that's something at your disposal where you can find anything in the template. One thing to note as you're new and still getting to know Spectora and doing home inspections, you can always take photos with your phone and still be able to put those in the report when you're proofreading and finishing up the report at home. So if you're on site, you can't document everything or the client or agent um, are kind of rushing you or pressuring you, just know that you still can take photos, but we do recommend putting photos in the actual comments like I just showed you. That's gonna be the quickest way to be efficient. So once you're done, hit the back button and now you're back at the inspection details screen. You're gonna to wanna to hit the save button and this saves the report to the cloud. So all this means is it saves it so you can go home, proofread the report, finish it up and publish it. You can also use the sync button, but that will also take anything that you've done on the computer and pull it down onto your device. So this is more helpful if you're making changes on the computer and you have your phone sitting there with you, but a save just simply sends everything from your phone up to the cloud. All right, so at this point, I have saved the inspection from my phone, went back home. Now I wanna pull it up and do some proofreading. So I log into www.spectora.com, log in with the same credentials, and on my desktop, I should see here the report. So I'm gonna click into this report, now I'm in the inspection details screen on desktop. So I'm gonna click on the edit button here to edit the report I did today. And you'll notice this really resembles the mobile app. So it's gonna be fairly similar in navigating through it. You can see the things I saved on the mobile app just now. So let's go into, um, let's go into roof and roof coverings where I took some photos. So I'm just gonna go in here and say, okay, I inspected this, I marked it as deficient. I have the material type. I do have one photo in there. And then I scroll down to damage general. So I wanna just review my comment and make sure that's good. I am calling this out as a basic recommendation. Again, these severity categories, you'll get guidance from your company on, on, uh, on how to use those and what for. And I look at my photos here and those look good. I did mention earlier the flagging. So if this was flagged on the mobile app, you would see this orange flag right here. 
And then you would also see it go up the chain to the item level and to the section level. So when you're reviewing your report and you get to the sections here and you see a flag, you know to follow that down to the items and then within coverings. And then you want to look for that orange flag for something that you tap to review later or to review with the boss. All you need to do is click on it to remove it and then it won't show. And remember, if you do leave one click, it doesn't show to the client on the front end. This is just for your reference and for your internal checking. A couple other functions on desktop you need to be aware of is you can move items and sections to different places. So if you can move coverings down here, a couple other desktop functions to be aware of is you can copy a section or item here by using these two paper icons, or you can move a section or item, or you can delete it. And if you need to add new informational comments or new defects just for this report, you can always click on the plus info button here, and then also on the plus deficiency button here as well. One thing to note is that these item ratings right here that I'm clicking on might be different based on your company. Uh, some companies don't use the item ratings at all. Some of them customize these. So keep in mind that that might function a little differently than what you're seeing here. All right, and once you're ready to preview the report, you click right here at the top right, preview, publish. So what this is gonna do is gonna show you what the client would see once you publish. And if you scroll down through, you'll see your recommendations. These bubbles up here that tally up recommendations, this is a company-wide option, so your reports may or may not use this. So when you are scrolling through and proofreading the report, keep in mind that if you hover over any comment, you can also do a quick edit here. So if you click on quick edit when you're looking at any comment, you can modify the comment text right then and there. So that is a quick feature that'll save you some time. You can click on photos to blow them up, to review them. And yet another option is the grid here that tells you whether something was inspected or not inspected. Some companies use the grid, some don't. So again, something you may not see if you're going through your report. All right, and when you're ready to publish, you simply click the publish button here. This is gonna pull up the standard emails and text that your company has set up for you. So you shouldn't be modifying this too much unless instructed to do so. If you do need to edit these, you click on the edit button here and it pops open the email that's going to the client and then the email that's going to the agent. In most cases, you can usually just click right through to send all and you've published your report. If you're a brand new inspector or still in your training period or it's your company's policy, you'll see a button here that says submit report and that will send it to your lead inspector or company admin for review. You are done at this point and good to go. All right, congratulations. You have finished your first training course on Spectora. We hope this was helpful. Definitely get in touch with your lead inspector or your company admin uh, for any further questions. And you guys can always use the chat bubble yourselves if you're on spectora.com or on the mobile app. On the app, it's a little button that says help. And if you're on the desktop of Spectora, there's a little green chat bubble in the bottom right. Feel free to write into our team. We are here to support you and help. Thanks.